Hey everybody. I just want to go and do an update on these 18650 lithium ion batteries. I now have a charger for them. You can probably see I have just four of them here. Well, let me explain something here. This is pretty important and that's one of the big reasons why I want to do this um, update video. Sort of, a, sort of a part two. Um, if I didn't mention already in my previous video, when you are testing out lithium ion cells that you pulled out of a laptop battery for the first time or whatnot, you know, repurpose cells, you know, harvest it out of something, you definitely want to monitor them closely as you charge them for the very first time. Because a lot of times you may have one or two cells out of a battery pack that are actually bad. Now, you may have noticed in the previous video how I just, you know, hooked them each up to a um, multimeter and they were all reading about 3.6 volts. That's the nominal voltage for a lithium ion cell, but they were not actually fully charged, obviously. Um, all 40 cells here are doing just fine. But if you look carefully over here, I have two, the other two cells. These got rejected for one very important reason. You may notice how I have an H marked on each one. Yes, H stands for heat or hot. Now, and of course, for me, you guys, you may be more used to charging nickel metal hydride cells like, you know, your rechargeable double A's or something like that. You may know it's pretty normal for them to actually get hot. But for lithium ion cells like this, no, no. It's, it's okay if they get warm. You know, that's to be expected. But if they get hot, so hot to where they feel like they're almost too hot to touch, then you're, you're actually in a pretty dangerous situation. Um, these weren't actually so hot you couldn't touch them, but they were getting relatively hot, um, considering um, from, you know what they are. Particularly with these older cells here, these these um, cells are ICR, I meaning lithium, um, C meaning cobalt, R meaning rechargeable. So these have cobalt in them, and these um, if you overheat them to a certain temperature which I believe is what 160 degrees something like that 160 degrees Celsius what can happen is you know around that temperature the batteries can go into what's called thermal runaway once they hit that temperature they start heating up by themselves and venting with flame and the last thing everyone needs to do is vent with flame because it can be pretty catastrophic so if the phrase venting with flame doesn't scare you enough well, I should have a video in the, in the um, description for you to check out of a lithium ion battery fire. You can see just exactly how um, violent these batteries can be if you push them to thermal runaway. So, as I mentioned, you definitely want to carefully monitor these things as you're charging them. Um, once you get more familiar with the cell, then you should be okay. Um, I wouldn't suggest charging these unattended. Um, that's a lot of times when lithium ion batteries can overheat is when you're charging them. Um, these four here barely got warm at all and they accept the charge just fine. Now two of them actually didn't charge fully because it was getting late but two of them did, did finish and they measure about 4.2 volts. Um, you don't want to go over 4.2 volts. That is not a good idea. But with these, um, you know, they got they, they got extremely hot, and that's because they are suffering from um, internal resistance. You know, the, the char and I charged these at one amp, which you know, considering they're 2.2 .2 amp hours, that's what they're rated for supposedly. That's less than 0.5 C charge rate, so it's pretty acceptable. But these two here did get hot. Um, they didn't get hot right, right away. Um, it was once it was when they got up to about 4.1, 4.2 volts, like you know, they were getting fully charged. They started to get extremely warm, you know, started to get a bit hot. So I immediately pulled them off, off the charger and you know let them sit to cool down. In a case like this, you know, with the batteries that aren't, you know, that are getting hot like that, with lithium ions, the best thing you can do for your own safety is to reject them you know don't use them again have them recycled 
Another sign these two batteries aren't in the best of standing is the voltage, the measured voltage has dropped a little bit in the past 24 hours. I'm going to pull up the multimeter and I'll show you. You know, when they, were, when they were super hot last night, when I pulled them off the charger, they were about 4.1 volts. See, I can go ahead and measure the voltage of, of them right now, and you'll see that the voltage is significantly lower. So here we go. You can barely see the meter on camera. 3.81 is this one. That's one of them. And the other is roughly 3.8. So the voltage did drop slightly. Now let's compare that the, to the other ones I have. Now, some of these I didn't fully charge, so the voltage isn't quite 4.15, 4.2. For example, let's check this one. This will be one of them. Four point one seven. So that's that's very good. No issues there. Four point one seven. These are the ones that are fully charged. Like literally the charger set full. Well I took them off. Now for these other two. They could probably use a little bit more charging, but let's see 3.92. And the other one, what do we have here? 4 volts. Anyways, the other four cells are, so far, they seem to be just fine. You definitely want to keep an eye on these um, because, like I mentioned, you don't know the history of the cells. You, you just harvest them out of you know something. Sometimes some may be bad, while the others are still good. In the case with this HP battery pack, four out of six cells are good, and these two have high internal resistance. <clears throat> so, anyways, I should be getting my. Um, 18650 flashlights in later this week, hopefully. Yeah, we'll see how that goes. But for the meantime, I'll show you how one lights up my existing light. Does a fantastic job. No doubt about it. So there you go. You see, nice and bright. So anyways, that's an update on my 18650 batteries. And I'll probably post some more videos in the future. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Any questions or comments? Feel free to ask and thanks for watching.